Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ron. I stumbled across something the other day that I think will save you some time with your FPV workflow and video stabilization process. Did you know that there's a Gyro Flow plugin that's specifically for DaVinci Resolve? The Gyro Flow engine's available as an OpenFX plugin to allow you to stabilize videos inside a video editor like DaVinci Resolve, which is what I'm using. If you follow my channel, you know I just recently switched from Premiere Pro over to DaVinci Resolve a short while ago, and since then, well, I'm still learning my way around. If you fly FPV, I'm sure you already are familiar with GoPro's Real Steady, or what's now called GoPro Player Plus, Real Steady, uh, which is built into it, or perhaps you're familiar with Gyro Flow. In short, both of these do an excellent job of stabilizing FPV footage using the Gyro data to smooth out or stabilize the video. For example, here's some FPV footage that I just shot the other day that's not stabilized. And here's the same video stabilized using the newest DaVinci Resolve Gyro Flow plugin. Finally, I'm gonna put a side-by-side -side comparison up between Real Steady Go and Gyro Flow so you can look at the files yourself and make your own determination. Now, in my opinion, both of these look great. Can't really tell the difference. You're obviously looking at the compressed YouTube version that I downloaded to YouTube, so it's slightly different than what I'm gonna see looking at my 4K monitor. But when I look at the original 4K stabilized files, I cannot tell the difference between the files stabilized using Real Steady or the files stabilized using the DaVinci Resolve plugin. So how do you get the plugin? Real simple, here's the instructions for the installation. Again, I'm gonna put all the links down below, so you can always look there. The instructions are for Windows, for Mac, for uh, Mac OS, for Linux, and very easy to follow. It only took me two minutes to do the installation. As of this video upload, the current plugin is version 1.1, which was released in March of 2023 this year. So just the other month. So it's been almost two months now. And once you have everything installed, just be sure to shut down and restart DaVinci Resolve so that your update takes place properly. Okay, now that you have the plugin installed, all you need to do is drop your footage onto your timeline, and I'm on the edit page in this particular screenshot. Then under the effects menu, go to open FX section, then to warp, and you're gonna see the gyro flow plugin or the gyro flow effect there in the menu. So you just drag the gyro flow effect onto your clip. Then with the clip still selected, go to the inspector and go to effects. Here you'll see all your gyro flow settings and options. All you have to do is click the load for current file. Now, depending on the size of the file or the clip itself, this may take just a moment, but you'll notice it pretty quickly that the footage has been totally stabilized. That's it. It's really that easy. And of course, you can play around with all the other adjustment parameters if you want to, but I've found that the default settings work quite well right out of the box, so I didn't need to change anything. And I wasn't able to find any detailed documentation for this plugin. I was on the Gyroflow Discord server and was told documentation was still in the works. Okay, so with that being said, I wanted to give you this information to at least get you started if this is something that you wanna check out for yourself or build into your own workflow. If you're using DaVinci Resolve already, this is a great way to streamline your entire workflow and stabilize your FPV footage right inside of the editing software instead of going outside of the software and coming back in. If you're not using DaVinci Resolve, stay tuned because the developers uh, this plugin did indicate on the Discord server that they may develop this plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro as well. But again, no details, no dates on that. And before I go, it is worth mentioning I'm using the full paid version of DaVinci Resolve, which is DaVinci Resolve Studio, not the free version. It's my understanding that the plugin does not work with the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Sorry guys if you're using the free version. And finally, I did have to create a compound clip in DaVinci Resolve Studio before exporting the final video. Uh, because DaVinci was crashing on me. Now you may not experience that, but I thought it was worth mentioning because it happened to me. If you got any value out of this video, please leave a like, a comment, think about even subscribing, it's always appreciated. That's it, until next time, take care, and we're gonna see you guys in the next video.